My name is Kara Jo Friedman. I use she, hers pronouns, and I'm the Assistant Director for LGBTQI Programs and Services here at the University of Missouri, Kansas City. I wanna thank you all for tuning into this video to honor the lives that we've lost in the last year due to anti-transgender violence. Transgender Day of Remembrance is an annual memorial held in November internationally to remember those who are victims of violence based on bias against transgender and gender variant people. The candlelight vigil held outside Rita Hester's apartment after her murder in 1998 is oftentimes seen as the inspiration to hold vigils such as the one held in San Francisco the following year, as well as this virtual one. Through this video, we will lift up and mourn those who might otherwise be forgotten through the voices of students and staff. We'll be reading the names of each of those who we've lost in the United States in the last year, followed by a moment of silence. We've also invited some students to speak on how anti-transgender violence affects them and their communities, as well as the importance of a day of remembrance. Howdy, my name is Rainy, and you might know me as the graphic design slash advertising chair for Pride Alliance. Um, I'm here today to talk to you about Trans Day of Remembrance and why it is so important to me. Trans Day of Remembrance happens once a year and it's where, you know, we all get together and we remember those that we have lost due to extreme violence against trans people. It is a whole bunch of oppression and especially towards black trans women. Don't forget that black trans women do so much for us and they face so much, pardon my language, bullshit. Um, so with Trans Day of Remembrance, what we like to do is we like to remember them, obviously, hence the name. We like to remember them and we like to celebrate their life and, you know, mourn their death. So usually trans people's families don't accept them. And a lot, you know, you're, you're probably going through it now. I know I am. Um, so whenever that trans person dies, they probably don't have anyone to celebrate their life. They don't have anyone to mourn them. So as a community, we get that chance to take this person, we get to celebrate their life, we get to mourn their death, and we get to spread awareness uh, for the kind of trials and tribulations that trans people face. And we get, you know, to just remember someone. And that's really important. It's that way no one dies in vain. Remember them, we celebrate them, and we work towards furthering equality for trans people. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Marcus, and for me, Trans Day of Remembrance is the day that we should be celebrating. It is a day to celebrate the great strides that our country has made to becoming a more inclusive environment for our trans friends and loved ones. On the other hand, today also serves as a reminder that we still have a lot of work to do as a country to support our trans community. Although we have made those great strides, there is still a lot more that needs to be done to combat transphobia. True equality will not happen until everyone is able to freely express themselves without the fear of being harmed or killed, and it is truly disheartening to know that the members of the trans community are still getting killed around the world and even in our own cities for expressing their true identities. So today, we honor and celebrate the lives of those who have been affected by such tragedies. Corbin Ray Back, age 23, Padoka, Kentucky, October 6, 2019. Christine Sefier, age 23, Mankato, Minnesota, October 10th, 2019. Daphne Dorman, age 44, San Francisco, California. October 11th, 2019. Brianna B.B. B. Hill, age 30, Kansas City, Missouri. October 14th, 2019. Nikki Kunhausen, age 17, Lark Mountain, Oregon. December 7th, 2019. Angel Rose Garcia, 21, Hyattsville, Maryland. December 10th, 2019. Alice Carter, baby Alice, 35, Washington, D.C., December 18th, 2019. Yahira Nesby, 33, Brooklyn, New York, December 19th, 2019. Mia Penny, 26, Washington, D.C., December 29th, 2019. Dustin Parker, 25, McAllister, Oklahoma, 
January 1st, 2020. Alex McCrae, 22, St. Louis, Missouri, January 4th, 2020. Camila Maria Concepcion, 28, Los Angeles, California, February 21st, 2020. John Scott DeVore slash Scotland Kelly DeVore, 51, Augusta, Georgia, March 12th, 2020. Monica Diamond, 34, Charlotte, North Carolina, March 18th, 2020. Lexi Ebony Sutton, 33, Harlem, New York, March 28th, 2020. Lorena Borjas, 59, Queens, New York, March 30th, 2020. Ashley Moore, 26, Newark, New Jersey, April 1st, 2020. Henrietta Robinson, 79, Miami, Florida, April 3rd, 2020. Johanna Metzger, Baltimore, Maryland, April 11th, 2020. Nina Pop, 28, Sykeston, Missouri, May 3rd, 2020. Hallie J. O'Regan, 20, San Antonio, Texas, May 6, 2020. Janae Thompson, 33, Orchard, Massa, Colorado, May 9, 2020. Tony McDade, 38, Tallahassee, Florida, May 27, 2020. Selena Reyes Hernandez, 37, Marquis Park, Chicago, Illinois, May 31, 2020. Name unknown, age 16 to 20, Chicago, Illinois, June 6, 2020. Raya Milton, age 25, Liberty Township, Cincinnati, Ohio, June 9, 2020. Dominique Remy Fells, age 27, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, June 9, 2020. Brian Powers, Eagle, Akron, Ohio, June 13, 2020. Brayla Stone, age 17, Sherwood, Arkansas, June 25, 2020. Tatiana Hall, age 22, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, June 30th, 2020. Mercy Mack, age 22, Oak Cliff, Dallas, Texas, June 30th, 2020. Drea McCarty, age 28, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, June 30th, 2020. Shockey Peters, age 32, Amit City, Louisiana, July 1st, 2020. Bree Black, 27, Pompano Beach, Florida, July 3rd, 2020. Summer Taylor, 24, Seattle, Washington, July 4th, 2020. Angela Martinez Gomez, 42, Santa Monica, California, July 6th, 2020. Marilyn Monroe Cesares, 22. Brawley, California, July 13th, 2020. Tiffany Harris, otherwise known as Dior H. Ova, 32. The Bronx, New York, July 26, 2020. Taisha Hardy, age 24. From Baton Rouge, Louisiana, July 27, 2020. Asia Raquel Roan Spears, nicknamed Rocky Roan, age 32, from Portland, Oregon, July 28, 2020. Key Sam, age 24 from Lafayette, Louisiana, August 13th, 2020. Shelly Lynn Rose, age 16, August 26th, 2020. Ellie Chi, 23, The Bronx, New York, August 31st, 2020. 
Isabella Mia Lofton, 21, Brooklyn, New York, September 7th, 2020. Gia Valentina Rumaldo Rodriguez, 46, Miami, Florida, September 15th, 2020. Arian Burnett, 37, Independence, Missouri, September 19th, 2020. Mia Green, 29, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, September 28th, 2020. Please join us for a moment of silence.